I'm 46 years old as of June 21st. Never in my life of 46 years have I ever seen anything like this. So to me, that's all the proof that I need, that they absolutely change dates and make up stories to make them look like they were years ago, recent. It's all BS. Good afternoon, everyone. I've had some time with my daughter to giggle and go shopping and do some things that she wanted to do today. But before that, I got pretty irate about something that I had found this morning, which I then talked in backstage um, with everyone at Crazy Irishes. Um, many of you may remember when I was talking about them having their claws in the Adirondacks. Our Adirondacks are protected by different means of protection to preserve wildlife and everything that's in it, above it, below it. Recently, I come across many articles as I've been researching and I'm still researching. They accidentally released those moths. How do you accidentally release something? Why do you have them in the first place and what are they doing them? What are they doing with them? Where were they released from? Who's in charge? These are the things that I'm gonna be getting to the bottom of. All right, so my concern was several months ago over the winter was that witch there and governor in New York State. I saw her all of a sudden, oh, my summer's in the Adirondacks. Whatever, lady. I told her to keep, I, I, I made a comment about keeping her claws out of the Adirondacks. Well, I knew something was coming. How do you accidentally release something that's going to kill our trees? Well, remember I said they couldn't do certain things because of all our trees. And I'm like, well, how are they gonna get around it? So they talked about really expensive things like going 10 to 20 feet higher than the trees. Well, we have many, many tall trees. That's gonna be really, really expensive. But they accidentally released a bunch of moths, gypsy moths. Check this out. I'm just gonna come out to one of our oak trees in our yard. I have been stomping these things. I have been spraying them with water. I'm gonna be getting out the neem oil is what um, Bushcraft mentioned, but look at these suckers. And there's more, still waiting to like lay all these eggs. So what they do is they fly around <laughs> and then they lay all these eggs and then they protect them for a little while and then they just drop off. But this goes all the way up our whole tree. And it's not just on the oaks. It affects many different trees, which I will show you here in a bit. Look at that. When these suckers all hatch, we're gonna have a worse problem than we did this year. How do you accidentally do this? That side's pretty good, but I mean, this is just our yard. Yeah, fun times, right? <laughs> And they go all the way up, all the way up. And we have a yard, just our yard. Now, several people that I talked to have told me like, did you get those, those tent caterpillars, those things, and then they create the gypsy moths. And I said, yeah. So they were horrendous. I've been skeeching them. Her, Rose bushes were un totally annihilated, just completely annihilated. I'm, I'm mad. I gotta get my thoughts straight.
I can with this. Um, this is basically where every every place looks like. So yeah, a nightmare is an understatement. So um, they were all over everything, and they still are. Like most of them have died off. The ones that didn't turn and whatever. Um, there's some history to this too, but the DEC confirmed. They have reports higher than usual gypsy moths population and leaf damage in several parts of New York State this June. Yeah, that's also an understatement. I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. So, they were released and um, they were introduced in 1869, okay? But then, how did they become just recently accidentally released. So from where? Escaped and established. I've never seen anything like this in my 46 years. Oak, maple, apple, crab apple, hickory, bait, basswood, aspen, willow, birch, pine, spruce, hemlock, and more. Oak is their preferred species, the DEC reports. I mean, look at people's rain gutters. I mean, this is absolutely insane. When outbreaks occur, thousands of acres of trees can be damaged due to stress. And this is what our trees look like. Now I'm gonna show you something else. They were having problems with this, okay? This right here and different other things with satellites. So they talked about going up higher with the towers, okay? And I said, watch, they're gonna do something to our trees to make this possible because they don't want to spend the extra cost and going 20, 10 to 20 feet higher than our trees. We have over 6 million acres in the Adirondacks, 6 million. I'm gonna link all of this in the description, but this is, this is horrendous. We have this. Protect the Adirondacks. Protect releases satellite photographs showing heavy, cu heavy cutting of forests on state conservation easement lands in the Adirondacks. They're not supposed to do these things. I will also link some information showing how the Adirondacks are differently protected in the United States. but they have satellite images of showing thousands of acres. 25 acres designed to avoid permit. I'm telling you, it's all about money. It's all about money and technology. Clean energy, my butt. Look at that. Stop, just stop clearing. We, our history goes way, way back, okay? It's, they log up here, they're loggers, but never, never in all of the years of logging did they do this crap. Again, I will link all of this in the description of this video. So here's the court ruling. You know, it's not yet clear about this court ruling yet. 
Um, this was May in 2021. So the forest preserves. Again, ask, ask yourself, especially if you live in the Adirondacks, why, why are they having such a pr trouble with the trees? The towers, the satellites, the technology that they want to bring up here. But guess what's in their way? The trees. You remember the, the movie Fern Gully as a kid? Or, hoy, hey, how about more recently the Lorax? We have thousands of lakes, even more ponds, rivers. I mean, all, every, the trees, So the Adirondack Park contains more than 3,000 lakes. I always say 2,800 because some are considered ponds, but they're actually lakes. 8,000 ponds and more than 15,000 miles of rivers fed by an estimate of 30,000 miles of brooks and streams. Water quality in Adirondack lakes, rivers, and streams is the lifeblood of our residents and visitors. Well, yeah. That, that means trees, too. So they're being threatened. Why all of a sudden? Now, just last year, okay, they talked about how we had the cleanest air, the cleanest of lakes, and just all of a sudden now. And now the dates are all changed of 2016 and, see, clean water. In school, we even went on Lake George and talked about how, how all the living microorganisms that were in the water and what each thing did. And we don't want to be, I mean, maybe we don't want to be like everyone else. Keep it in the cities. If people want that crap, go there. This is from Loon Lake. Again, I'll link it in the description. Here's another one. This is from 2004 on how it's, they just, they make sure that they research every little tiny thing that could possibly throw it off. We, we had an issue years and years back where we had a fungus hurt our birch trees. But you know what? We got through that. So the Constitutional Protection Forever Wild, 1895. At 1894 Constitutional Convention, a new covenant to achieve meaningful protection of forest preserve was included in the Constitution. The Adirondack Forest Preserve would be forever wild. This still stands today, but now they're in court. Also, I'll link this in the description. So anyways, I'm frustrated and I'm sad. Um, I knew something was up here, I did. And I knew that they would find some way once again because they've tried it before. And it, it, things can happen naturally, okay? Don't get me wrong. I know that life changes, climates change, you know, the wind blows the right way and it can send something somewhere. I don't believe in coincidences. I just don't. And I knew, I knew, I knew. And I, I have witnesses. I talked to them all this morning. They remember. I said, you watch. You watch. Something is going to happen with our trees. 
and I know I'm right about this. I, I do. I hope I'm wrong, but I know I'm right about this, and I, I don't like it when I'm right about things like this at all. I don't. I don't want to be right. But I just knew. It was on my heart. I knew. I knew that they were going to have their claws in the Adirondacks. What is their problem? They are the problem. Clean energy. Go green. Do this. Do that. How is putting radiation into things clean? You're against the fossil fuels. You're against all that stuff that you call so horrific, but yet we've been doing this for hundreds and thousands of years, okay? But yet you want to put radiation. What about this phone? This phone. My doctor, my kid's doctor told us not even to have our phones near our heads when we sleep because it can cause the big C. Yep. But here we all are. It's never enough for them. They're always hungry. They always have to munch things down and call it for the greater good. It's not good, okay? It's just, it's not. And I'm I'm sorry if I'm not coming through very clearly. I should have maybe waited to put this out, but I'm, I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I talked to a woman in the grocery store today, and she stopped me and talked to me about how she was looking for ice cream that was, like, no sugar, like, low sugar because of her diabetes. And my daughter helped her, which was so awesome because my daughter had Lyme disease and she had to back off the sugar too because sugar feeds bacteria. Well, anyways, different reason, but still the same, you know, for health, right? And um, we just got talking and we got talking about the moths and the caterpillars. And I said, well, funny that you mentioned it because I just found this this morning and I showed her my phone. And she's like, you know, all this stuff is not just, it doesn't just drop. She's like, it's all done on purpose. And I said, yeah, yeah. So if you're not angry about some of these things, they don't make any freaking sense. They, they talk about our world and making it better, but they're not making it better. They're making it worse. 